I really can't imagine the success I've had as an artist without GPAC. They've connected me with other arts professionals and also provided like some mentorship from their staff people. GPAC's influenced me by uh, allowing me to have easier access to lawyers, to uh, help other artists get their work done and get their work out and get their work sold. It's been an ongoing educational process. They've helped me to grow even to understand how the industry works, how corporate America works, how um, all the little small details work of being successful as a public artist they've helped me with, and even just moral support. So you know, our goal is allow them to, to put their creative energy and, and time and resources into creating art, because that's what we're all about is, you know, finding, finding ways to uh, uh, have a very robust um, art community in, in southwestern Pennsylvania. It's being there, being at meetings, developing relationships with legislators that helps to kind of create an uh, environment for artists in our member organizations to be able to do their, uh, do their best work. Art can be transformative, especially when it makes us look at familiar things in a different way. And so diversity, uh, vibrancy, these things are tied together towards very um, meaningful and impactful art. What initially attracted me to GPAC was the sense that it was willing to tackle issues in the arts that were um, incredibly difficult to talk about. I frequently experienced microaggressions and other and, and, and other sort of like perceived racial slights based based on my race. So it, so it was really great for me to see that GPAC was taking an active role in an effort to work toward dismantling structural racism in the arts, and 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 not just you know accessibility but racial equity. The arts of arts and culture has played a pivotal role in helping to redevelop. Pittsburgh. The artists and, and small organizations, they're sometimes the first people that are willing to walk into a neighborhood and take over an empty abandoned storefront, do 24-7 construction, and then all of a sudden something new and, and vibrant is happening there. And as soon as that gets established, then something happens next door. Something happens next door to that. With GPAC, they've brought together music, they've brought together visual art, they've brought together theater, every facet of the arts community, and then um, the levels of philanthropy and foundational support. They bring all those together in one place, and it makes it very accessible to everyone. Arts, arts loud and clear.